Hi, welcome to help session. Today we're going to be covering the topic of what is a mole, the very basic unit in chemistry. Uh, and so to start off, we're going to define what a mole is in terms of Avogadro's number. Uh, it's a number that you've probably learned in chemistry, assuming you're taking it. And so a mole is a mole is equal to Avogadro's number. So Avogadro's number is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And so a mole is just a, a word that means of some amount. And so say we have, uh, so we have the word dozen. Uh, I've explained this example in previous videos before, but I feel like just reiterating on it would be, uh, be helpful. If we have dozen, so dozen means 12, as everyone knows. We have baker's dozen, which means, uh, yeah, 13. And then I, there's there's some others again same same type of example I'm just explaining it more six six point zero two three so if we have a, a mole of something a a mole of what of of all right let's start with let's start with chemistry or we'll start yeah let's start with chemistry H two O H two O so a mole of H two O molecules. Uh, just so you know, moles does not equal molecules. That's not what they're saying. Uh, a molecule of H2O is just two atoms of hydrogen pair, uh, bonded with one, one uh, atom of oxygen. A mole of this, a mole of uh, water, would actually be 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules of H2O. That would be if I if I had some way to represent H two O six point O two two times ten to the twenty third times it would be that many. Um, so it's it's just the number of how many you have. If I say I have a dozen of H two O, it would be twelve molecules of H two O. It, it's it's really just saying how however many of whatever we're talking about we have. So if I had like a mole of what of oh, do a different color of oranges the blue oranges if i had a mole of oranges uh this would be 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd oranges uh so i literally have this many oranges and that's a lot of oranges i read somewhere that if you had this many oranges it would actually cover the earth with a nine mile layer thick uh, layer of or oranges so like it, it would this it would be a a uniform nine mile thick layer of oranges around the entire entirety of the earth um, so again what this example is trying to drive home is that a mole is just it's a a word to represent some amount of something um, so whenever you hear like say we have uh, an equation that I've used in videos before 2h2 plus o2 reacts to create 2h2o and so this is the reaction between hydrogen gas and oxygen gas to create water and so uh, what this is saying is that for every so we have two moles of h2o so for two moles h2o or h2 uh, when they're reacted with one mole of O2, uh, they react to form two moles of H2O. And so this is actually 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd uh, molecules of H2 uh, plus 6, all right, actually 6.022 times 2. So times two, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of O2, they, this reacts to form two, or six point, actually, yes, yes. Two times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Wow, that was supposed to be me. Molecules of H2O. And so this is really what it's saying. It's saying you have all, like, 
you have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of H2 reacts with 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of O2 to form six, 2 times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of H2O. And so the reason we use moles to represent that number is just because it's a mouthful and it's difficult to work with, just because it's so large. And if we, uh, if we use this and we multiply this, so if we multiply Avogadro's number by the atomic weight, of say oxygen O2 or H2 or H2O, we actually get the the uh, the weight of it in grams equal n numerically to the atomic weight in AMU. So whereas you have uh, O2 being equal to uh, 32 AMU, well if you have the if you have a mole, I guess w this would be one atom. Of O2. If you had one mole of O2, that's still 32, but it's grams because it's the the um, the atomic weight, so which is 32 times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, and so that in grams, and so that is actually what this is. It moles is really a conversion factor as well. Uh, like in addition to being the amount of something, um, so the the uh, moles is very very versatile. There's a, there's a lot of uses for it, but understanding what it is is critical to to being able to do stoichio uh, stoichiometric reactions and conversions and just really understanding what it's saying. And so, if we look at say this uh, this reaction that we were talking about earlier, uh, if we if we look at this reaction, so what this is saying is that for say each each one of these circles is a mole. I'm going to be drawing this down here. Uh, say this is H2, H2. Each of these circles below it are H2. We need two circles or two moles of H2. In addition to O2, we need one mole of O2 to become two moles, two moles of H2O. So when say we have a huge cloud of H2, H2 molecules and O2 molecules, we have to pull from the, the H2 cloud two molecules or two moles. It's 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 really interchangeable uh, the the language that you use. Two moles of O2 and or one mole of O2 and two moles of H2O. And when we combine those together, we, we force them together, put them some put uh, in some energy, and they become two moles of H2O. Well, yeah, exactly, two moles of H2O. So, uh, I hope this I hope this helps explain uh, or at least clarify some different parts of what a mole is and what it's used for. Um, if you have any extra questions, uh, definitely let me do know in the comments below because uh, I want to make sure that this topic, which is very fundamental to chemistry, is as clear to everyone watching as possible, um, and as clear as it is to me, at least in my mind. Uh, okay, thanks for watching. Uh, see you later.